Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video we're going to look at a new mod map released on console for Farming Simulator 19. So this is Chellington Valley at long last for us console players by Oxygen David farming agency and alien pool now this is a whopping 748.93 megabytes to download but you have to be a little bit careful because um the description on the website uh mod hub is different to the actual in-game mod hub description because I think the website version is more aimed at the PC because there's a lot more um, content on there that isn't in the in-game one so it's a lot of it's PC only and also on the website it says it's 952.58 megabytes to download which again I think is because it's PC um, aimed at so for us console players it is 748.93 megabytes to download and just to give you an example of what that sort of what size that is my um, storage capacity was at 85 percent and it wouldn't let me download it so I had to clear out a few mods and I got it down to 80 percent and it would allow me to download this map but it went up to a hundred percent when I downloaded this so just to give you a rough idea of how big that is anyway the description in the in-game mod hub says welcome to Chellington Valley this map is set in Bedfordshire UK and is fictional new animals calf husbandry full season support with many extra features two new fruits alfalfa and linseed new grass textures cut grass texture dis distance etc custom ground textures custom wheat barley textures 130 fields from small to medium and large over 25 sale points bga sawmill and other places dof and in brackets graphics it says has been removed to improve fps and distance blurriness in brackets seasons lighting 3.0 totally new lighting engine more dramatic dawn and dusk lighting better clouds and more vibrant colors lots of animated objects to bring the map to life boats intercity 125 flying scotsman road sweeps forklifts articulated lorries etc total traffic upgrade traffic will take random paths across the map and slow down at junctions 10 farms with multiple of options and all animals in the map 70 fields with missions on all roads are modeled making them much more streamless lots of interiors and details aimed at role play series chickens and sheep and horses require straw bedding and will produce manure in places cuttable hedges and two forest areas so there is a lot going on in this map and it is very impressive if you haven't already seen it i'm going to try and do this map tour the best i can I'm going to miss things. It's probably not going to be as detailed as what I do normally do them because it's going to take forever to get round if I do that. And I don't want you guys getting bored when we do that. So we start off here in our farmhouse, which actually is another interesting thing because there is no actual sleep trigger on this map so with the 10 farms in total you've got the option to choose whichever one you want really but in new farmer mode we start off here and let's show you the map so we're here 
and we start off this is our main farm which is Chellington farm this is the map absolutely huge loads of fields lots going on loads of detail and well just wow so much to see so much to do I'm not going to be able to show it all in new farmer mode we start off with fields 36 obviously our farmyard area here field one two and three field one's quite massive and these green areas here you can see is like the um sort of um i don't know the edge of the map so to speak and if you wanted to buy that it costs zero and the good thing with it is the biogas plant which is here is included in that section so on new farmer mode you start off with that um, but in the other two modes it's going to cost you zero anyway so that's quite a nice touch you can get the biogas plant straight away off the bat for nothing um, in new farmer mode let's just go into our garage I'll show you this quick it is as well very high on the slot count it's 913 slots um, to start with if you sell off everything you can get that down to 800 which again is still quite high but to be honest with you there's a lot on this map already in place you've got so many sale points so you don't really need to add any more and there's lots of animal pens so again probably you know you're not going to need to add anything else it is a high slot count but you got pretty much everything you need to start with um in the other two modes farm manager start from scratch it again is 913 slots because you start off with all this same equipment you just don't get any land so that's just something to bear in mind as well but you start off with these vehicles, equipment, stuff, things. Massey Ferguson 7719, New Holland T6125, Massey Ferguson Activa 7347 Harvester, Lizard Pickup, Crampe Bandit 750 Trailer, Header for the Massey Ferguson, a Plow, We've got a cedar, we've got a mower, a baler, header trailer, two weights, different sizes, and a horse paddock. Now the horse paddock is a mod, and it is the only mod in the game. So if we go into animal pens, it's just there, as you can see. So let's crack on, because there's lots to do. What I love about this house, I've left the help menu on. You can interact with quite a few different things. So we can turn the radio on. What is up, what's up? What is up, FS Club? We're here in Chelsea Valley to film a new video. You know what? Let's take a look. Here we go. He got FS Club making an appearance. We can make a look quick coffee. All the doors open. You can go in and explore. You can go upstairs. I'm not going to show you everything. The TV you can turn on. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> you got is, is there? our silver I'm, news I'm friend. In a TV. It's wait, wait. very bizarre. And this is our starting farmhouse. Very cool. But we need to grab. I knew it was going to be that one. The pickup. Because, like I say, we've got to get around this map. And I've got to try and remember my way round. I've had a quick whiz round. I'll get rid of that help menu for a minute. So, if we whiz down this side. It's a very, very cool map. With lots going on. So this is Chellington Farm. 
where we start off. And all the farms that we come across, they've all got loads of shed space, storage space. You've got um, a silo there, and I'll just show you quick. There's four silos on the map dotted around. And if you go into here, we start off with some crops in new farmer mode in there. So you've got 2 million litre capacity there. And it's basically 500,000 litres each one. So you've got another one over here. And there's one, where is it? There and one just there so they're 500,000 litres each which tallies up to 2 million most of your equipment's spread around down in here you've got like I say loads of shed space but we're just going to quickly whiz round otherwise it's going to take forever I'm going to put the help menu back on because you've got a bunker silo there just over here we've got the chickens I'm going to hop all the gates so you've got your feed and the chickens actually need water here and like that says in the description they're going to need straw which I'm guessing is here I think that's going to be where your eggs appear or it could be the manure because um, I've not tested anything it's going to take me forever to do that um, it says that the chickens do produce manure if we whiz down into here this is our cow pasture just by the cattle grid here is your dialogue box this will hold 500 cows all of the animals and the chickens hold 500 as well all of the animals will hold 500 except for the horses which hold 8 which we will get to but you've got various this is your milk point i think you've got a slurry point just there yeah there's a lot to get through so all your feed triggers are sort of inside there but we're just going to whiz round so i can show you the map more you can discover sort of different things yourself oh there is a cell point actually just down through here I believe it's just there. There you can see the hazard marks. That's Chellington Farm Barn. Normally I'd go through and show you every single sale point and what they do. But there's so many of them. So we're just going to quickly look at them like that. What we've done there. Because again, like I say, it's going to take forever. So we'll run back up to the pickup. Probably should have driven down into there. There's some really cool quirky features on here. Um, some you'll probably see on our map tour and others you'll find yourself but now I've got a look at the map here because yeah that's right. Most places are um, labelled up you come to all the farms and the sale points they've all pretty much got uh, signs outside telling you what's what let's carry on down it just looks lovely as well the um, distance texture going to come up here and this is going to be the first of the other farms and like I say all the farms have got their um, signs outside so you've got Whitehall farm across the road you've got some storage space this is one of the other silos there you tip in and you pipe out just there you've got various I think some of these are fuel tanks you've got another sail point just there 
and then inside we've got a few bits and bobs you've got a lime station there i think that's fuel again there's no animals on this one there you go white hall farm barn so you can sell stuff there most of the farms have got farmhouse on there so like i say you can't go in these ones but you can stick a doormat down so you can start off pretty much wherever you like now I'm wondering if oh, there's to the pick up. I do apologise if I'm rattling through this, but we've got to be quick. So just in here is our sawmill, I think, by the look of it. So you've got your timber lumber point just there and then just there she wood chips and then I need to double check again yeah we'll go straight across here up to this next farm we've actually got a dual carriageway here which is quite Cool. You've got the articulated lorries coming along, so watch out you don't get smashed by one of them. And then down in here, we have got Pine Creek Farm, which again has got loads of storage space. As you can see, that's part of the um, slurry pit for the cows. I think that's a milk point again for the cows. Now, where was there's a trigger just here, I think. There you go. Again, 500. Your feed triggers and stuff are going to be there again. I think that's another fuel point. Tons of storage space. You got a bunker silo there, double one. Loads of room. So that's just cows in that one. Then we'll scoot along here and we'll go to the garden centre. There's a couple of cell points there together. Just down here is your garden centre. Barriers will open up automatically when you go near them. Now there's no hazard mark for this one, but we're virtually right on top of it, so I'm guessing it's going to be just round there somewhere. And then just round here, randomly there's another barrier there. You've got a manure cell point there. So there you can see garden center and the manure cell point. If we swing out of here. Like so. Up the hill there we've got a fuel station petrol station just there to your left and then if we carefully go across the dual carriageway we've got a cell point where was it I think I've gone the wrong way haven't I yeah I've gone the wrong way it is mad this map there's so much happening there it is it's just there so that is Beedlam um, Beedlam Grange farm shop there you go and the cell points just there you can see the grid just beyond the forklifts so now we'll go straight across up and we'll visit Blacker Hall stores.
and you've got little things whoa so much for the traffic slowing down now I'm stuck that's good for the map to order just over there we've got a policeman out of his speed gun trying to catch the speeders right we'll swing around here back over the dual carriageway and then in here is gonna be another sail point which is like I say everything's labelled up look blacker hall stores and there's your sail point in the background there the sort of rusty grid like so there's our little friend on his forklift, look, plodding around. Right, from here now, we are going to cut across the dual carriageway and we're going to go and visit this next farm there. So I'm going to be very naughty and cut through it because it's just going to make our life so much easier just hope that policeman's not watching and then somewhere here we've got a turning just there again farms labelled up Ravenwood farm jump the fence loads of storage again all these doors do open as you can see and then just here I think it was this is a sheep farm again that's going to hold 500 your feed and waters in there I'm guessing that's going to be your wall pallet uh, spawn spawn point another bunker silo double one just there so there's plenty of storage etc etc right now we're going to go down this road and we're going to go to valley view farm i think that is which has got another cell point within the farm So just down here but it just looks like it the map the edge of the map just sort of carries on and all the distance you know you can see that little church down there very impressive memory blank then I thought I was going the wrong way but I'm not this map's absolutely frazzled my brain I think <laughs> coming on here so again just there we've got our um let's turn that off Valley View Farm I kept that on because it's helping me find the um animal dialogue boxes so just round the back here I think it was is your cell point you can just see the hazard marks there and then where is no the cows were around the back I think this is your chickens actually the chickens just there this will hold 500 again the only thing I couldn't find on this one was um, a water point for them so I don't know whether these 
take water or not. But that's your chickens. And then your cows. Oh yeah, the gate down by the field is just here. Again, 500. Like so. I apologise for not showing the feed troughs properly and whatnot. I normally do that. But like I say, it's a lot happening in this uh, map. So I'm trying to whiz round it. So from there, we'll come out, we'll go up and we'll go to Knitley's stores. Hopefully without causing a crash. Sorry, pal. I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to go for it. Time is of the essence. So there you can see the sign, Knit Knitley's stores. Probably got another chap going around on a forklift somewhere. And then just up there on the left is your sale point. So out of here, let's get our bearings again. We're going to come down. We'll cut across there and we'll come down. And we'll visit all these sail points right on top of each other. There's quite a few down there. Right, so we're just going underneath the railway line there. And if we whiz in here, you can see it says main store on the um, sign. And you've got so many sail points in here, it's just, you can see it's just mad. So you've got the dairy, which I think is that one right, right by us. You've got an egg sail point in here, the spinnery, main store barn. And then you've got these um, MS1, which I'll show you in a second. There's another chat on his forklift. This is your animal dealer just there and then you've got MS1 there MS2 MS3 MS4 so they're all different sale points so they're right on top of each other so you've got plenty of options to check the prices out this is your spinnery inside I think it's going to be in there but yeah, there's just loads going on here. Your egg cell point there, that's easy to find. Look, that's about the easiest one to find. And if we jump back in the pickup, because the BGA is just behind. I'm hoping we can drive through this way. I can actually, there's another sail point just there, look. Possibly the bow one. Yes, yeah, so the BGA is just here. There is no bunker silos here at the BGA, but you've got this massive area here, and possibly there you, you could probably place some. See as it costs you nothing. So your digestate out there your tip-in digesters just there now where do we want to go from here need to come back out and we'll go down to the shop so I'm not sure whether I'll cut a little bits here and there out of this because I'm already at 30 minutes recording time so I don't want it to be too long otherwise you're going to lose interest so your store is just in here you've got your shop menu icon just there and you've got your vehicle repair customization triggers just there 
so obviously if you buy any le buy or lease anything it's going to appear here but your reset point is back at the main farm that we start off with so if you're on any of the other farms then that could be a bit of an issue but and then we're going to head down into here which is actual Chellington and there's a few sail points quite near close to each other I actually I'll just whiz up here because again there's some impressive features I like the bridges over all the rivers and streams and again there's all random little houses dotted around but you've got here Chellington Manor House look at that looks like something out of Downton Abbey I suspect some of you are thinking what's Downton Abbey not my sort of program right let's head on into Chellington oh this is a nice little feature here so you've got like a little fair going on summer show but look they're offering tractor rides now that just brings back memories years ago when we were kids my mum and dad took us brothers down to the Hampshire New Forest show and I remember Wurzel Gummidge the actual Wurzel Gummidge he was there and we ended up doing a tractor ride like that with him it was brilliant unfortunately the speed cameras on console don't work so you can drive through here as quick as you like now where do I want to go first this is where I got confused earlier I've already taken the wrong turn and I think yeah it's just mad there's too much going on on this map that's right there is a cell point just there look Essington fruit farm a lovely little village though I think if I go back round this way This is where I've bought, oh, now I've crashed. Ah, just in here, yeah. So you've got another petrol station, fuel station just over there. And you've got two cell points on top of each other there. What's happening there? They shouldn't be up there like that. So that is Chellington Stores. Oh, that's because I clicked visit by accident. And then you got the organic farm store, was that? Just in here. Yeah, the organic farm shop. Again, just tip in there, look for your sale point. And then did I miss one? No, I didn't, did I? Yes, I did. I've missed this fruit farm. I've got to try and remember how to get to that. Ah, there it is. Just in there, as you can see, fruit farm. Right, let's try not to run that person over. It's just too much happening on this map. So we did that, Essenton Fruit Farm. Now we'll come out and we'll go and look. Now I'm on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Breaking the law. 
right let's just get over here out of the way so over the little river again very nice buildings little red phone boxes and the post boxes you can hear the um, bell ringing so just in there is Berry Market another sale point now I want to come back out of there and come along we're going to go and visit Medi Meadow Valley Farm I may cut a little bit of this just until we get down near there but we'll see I'll see what the um, finished time is so if we take this turn in just down here on the left you've got our sign there look Meadow Valley Farm I love just little details like that like the caravan sat there one of the workers probably living in that it's just where is it there is for your pigs again 500 all your feed and water troughs out through there the food troughs there loads of storage space and then we've got another sale point just inside which is just there by the bells like so So back out, we'll come out of there and we'll come along. We've got another farm just here which has got a silo in it. No animals. It's very picturesque this map. There you can see the different textures there for the cut grass. To the left we've got grass, to the right it's been cut. So, to the left there we've got more shed space. Across the road, this is Clark's farm. More shed space here, there's your silo, tip in there, and your pipe out, again 500,000 litres, no animals like I say, fuel points back there, back in the pickup, what I did want to show you actually is on this sail point, if we scroll all the way to the right, we've got our two new crops there so it says lucerne but that's um alfalfa and you can ted alfalfa like you would grass and turn it into hay that's what the dry bit is i think you can feed that to your animals as well and then on the end there is the um linseed so from there let's zoom in a bit we're going to come down out and we're going to visit Bashal stores. So, whoa, that's my fault. Didn't look. Oh yeah, that's what happens when you're rushing. Mind you, if you're still watching it at this point, I'm very pleased you are. 
so just in there in the distance you can see the sale point bash all stores then let's go straight up here and we'll come down this side and this other farm here I probably will cut a little bit here because time is getting on nice little row of houses there just to the right there behind the tree you've got the castle which is quite cool we won't go to that though I'll um, let you visit that but if you go up to this path there look you've got the little sign Chellington Castle I'll let you discover some things few little tracks going off to the left and right that you can go round and then here we go this farm made me laugh this is a lockdown farm which I'm pretty sure all of us have experienced enough of that recently over the last year or so so again there's no animals in this one it's just a silo which is just there and your tipping point I think there is a bunker silo there yeah bit of shed space now we'll get back in there and we're gonna come straight down across and there's the horse um, stable just down there It's a little bit dark in places, but it's not too bad. Nice little windmill out there in the background. So we want to go right, don't we? There's no collisions on the hedges. I'm guessing there probably will be with the uh, headers on the harvesters, though. So just down in there is your horse stable, come up to the gate, there you go, and that's going to hold eight like I say, looks like your feed and your water troughs there, straw possibly out here, I'm not sure, I have not tested all of it like I say, because it will take quite a while. There's some good sized fields on um, this map. Nice little farmhouse just there. And if we come up into here, we've got Old Oak Farm. I drive in here. So we've got, I think it's sheep and cows in here. Yeah. So your cows are just going to be there. Again, 500 feed troughs by the look of it there. More shed space. Like that. You've got a bunker silo just there. And then just over here is your sheep. Again, 500. Looks like the manure point there. I don't know if that's for both the animals. Um, I think we can get out that back end. I think we can come straight up there and go left to Druton's store. Which is another sale point. 25 of them. 
but I just love well I've said it before on map tours I love distance texture how you can just look out and it just seems to go on forever so just here Drewton stores and the cell points just behind there where the um, sort of red bollards are no it's not it's just there actually don't listen to anything I say it's just there on the right <laughs> this is what I mean though I'm trying to remember where's where and what's what right so we're going to come up here and we're going to go across we're going to go to the balloon tree stores hopefully without crashing although I'm not promising anything because I've lost count how many times we have actually crashed well not we I'm not blaming you it's myself so let's whiz through here just in there look Ooh, where are we get camera angles right balloon tree stores you can see the cell point there just by the um, red and white pole there you go and then just up here should be a turning on the left so yeah you can see the castle there in the background again it's quite smart There's a crash. So we come up into here. This is Autumn Wood Farm. Now, what I'll do is I'll drive in and round a bit on here so we can get back out. Just here, is it? Yeah. We've got sheep again. 500 your feed and water troughs are going to be there you can just see one of them there more shed space lots of it and there's a manure pit there you can see and just yeah was it there no it's not there it's just here is your cows again 500 uh, looks like the milk point there and you can just see feed troughs through there now this bit over here if you come over you can see in the help menu open animal dialogue this is your little calves look they're only 500 uh, each I've still got it on your rows um, yeah but I don't, not sure, 100% sure how that works. If you buy them, do they grow into big, you know, full-size cows and then you can sell them or move them into your farm? I'm not sure. But that's the only um, cow farm on here that I could find where this calf was. All the other cow farms, there was no option. So can we get out of this gate? Like so. Now, where am I going now? Out of here and then left to the farm shop. And I think that is it. Half the reason why I crash, I'm not a bad driver, well I am a little bit, but it's because I'm looking down at my notes, trying to remember things, like here, is it in here, yeah the farm shop, so just there look, is your cell point. What I think we'll do, 
it is go up here nice little bus stop there I'll go over the railway track because I want to try and see a train what I might do is just sit here till one comes which could be forever and I'll add it in well I've sat here for quite a while and nothing's come along which is a bit disappointing I can't sit here all day <laughs> so I think we'll call it there so I hope you enjoyed the map tour if you have please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.